hereafter. You know, there is an analogy that people use when we are talking about fasting. They will say the person is on the mountain. The person is on the mountain. You see, when you're on the ground, there's a limit to what you can see. The higher the height, the better the sight. If you begin to ascend the mountain of prayer and fasting, you begin to see further and further and further. I'm standing on the altar of this, of this uh, tabernacle today. I can see long distances from where I am standing. At the ark that is there, there are higher heights. If I climb to the height there, I will see what I can see from here. If I climb to a mountain, I will see what I can see from there. If I am in an aircraft, I will see what I can see from the mountain. If I am in a rocket, I can see the entire earth at one go. My eyes are the same, but the scope of my sight changes the moment my height changes. When you climb the mountain of prayer and fasting, you are ascending into spiritual heights so that your sight can be enhanced. When God wanted to show Moses the entirety of the land, the land of promise, what did he say to him? In the book of Deuteronomy chapter, 20, chapter 34 and verse 1, look at what the Bible tells us. It says there, And Moses went up the plains, up from the plains of Moab, unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land. He went to the top, the peak of the mountain. And as a result of that, he was able to see all the land of promise. The land of promise can be likened to the scope of the provisions of scripture. Whatever is in the north, call it Genesis. In the south, call it Malachi. In the east, call it Matthew. In the west, call it Revelation. The scope of what is in the world can be facilitated as we enhance our height through prayer and fasting. So you are not just praying for nothing. You are not fasting for nothing. You are changing heights. He said, come up and I will show you. Come up and I will show you. From now, I see each one of us changing heights. Somebody believe it, say it louder, amen. And you know, the beauty of having a change in height is that you discover that the higher you go, the smaller things become. True or false? If you have been in an aircraft and the aircraft is about to take off, you are running, you are seeing the buildings. The buildings may be bigger, the buildings may be smaller, but they are just at the side, you can see them through the window. But when the plane begins to take off, it's still the same plane, but suddenly the things that were big begin to become small you see when you are engaging in prayer and fasting and the scope of light begins to break forth the things that were big for you before they become small so your faith is charged to take over shout hallelujah i say shout hallelujah that is why we must not toy with prayer and fasting you don't just pray and fast for answers as it were to specific situations but for light for the breaking forth of light not just god do it for me no lord show me what to do 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 shout hallelujah show me what to do because what is big to you is small to god show me there is there is a way there is an there is a pathway there is a solution show me what to do show me what to do show me what to do and the moment you begin to take that posture light begins to break forth from now i see light breaking forth on your behalf if you believe it say louder amen i said i see light breaking forth on your behalf i see light breaking forth on your behalf in the name of jesus christ i said i see light breaking forth you and i must become authority conscious it is a difference maker we must become authority conscious when it comes to the engagement of our faith i've shared this with us before how that in the year 2008 i was having a god someone was having a conversation with me 
and he looked at me and he said david i know god hears me when i pray you know there is a way a person says something that gives you a picture of the level of confidence he said david i know god hears me when i pray when he said that i went back to my room and i sat down and i said what kind of confidence is this what kind of authority consciousness is this i know god hears me when i pray we all pray but not all of us pray with the same mindset of authority I know God hears me when I pray. From that day, it switched my perspective. Because I discovered that there must be a consciousness of authority. Hear this. Even when a general is a short naker, he is not unaware of his rank. You find a general walking to the tennis court in short naker and t-shirt. He is very aware that he is not a recruit. There is a consciousness inside him. It is not the thing they put on his shoulder that is the difference. It is the thing inside his heart. That is why it is said that what makes a lion is not his size. It is his heart. Don't you know an elephant is many times bigger than a lion. But a lion eats elephants. A consciousness why because inside the lion there is something inside him that makes him believe that when he's inside the jungle is the king of the jungle so whatever has blood inside it, inside it is food for it when he sees an elephant he said this one looks like he has blood is bigger than him bigger than me but this is food there is a consciousness of authority from this day onward i pray that that dimension of consciousness will come alive in us that's what god did to moses he says see you are not like the rest of these egyptians i have made you a god unto pharaoh so every time moses was speaking he was speaking to pharaoh as if pharaoh was a small boy pharaoh was the king of the land he didn't say your highness he didn't even say, oh king, when he arrives there, Pharaoh, let my people go. He was speaking with authority. You know that naturally you don't approach kings like that. Even the kings in our villages, we approach them carefully. You call them certain names. Because if you don't, there will be issues. Now this was the king of the entire nation of Egypt. The strongest nation at that time. And here comes a man and goes to him and points his finger and say pharaoh pharaoh let my people go and pharaoh could do nothing the army was paralyzed soldiers were beside him their mouth was open but they could do nothing why somebody with authority had arrived when authority arrives all kinds of satanic activity is silenced from now every activity of the enemy around any department of your life is brought to silence.